Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have part 21 of Create a Club. So for those of you who don't know, I have created a club in Football Manager 23. We are called Haybridge Harriers. Background of Haybridge Harriers is that Haybridge Harriers is my club. Uh, we were a Sunday League club. We were relatively successful. Uh, unfortunately, covid put pay to us sort of still being around today like the guys were cleaning covid and once the world opened back up they had lives to get back to and we didn't find it viable so uh, i've re recreated the club here um, and i started off with a squad of 14 15 players uh all wonder kids we overtook wrexham so we um we started off in the National League. Uh, we got four straight promotions into the Premier League. And we finished 15th last season. As you can tell here, last episode, start of the episode, a little bit dry. Uh, end of the episode, we have flown through and we've got some results. And we even find ourselves above my side, the mighty Liverpool. Um can't really complain where things are going so far been really really good um squad wise we do have a really big squad in all fairness a uh, lot here in defense we've um we, we, we're making some moves getting some players out there's a few players that are wanted a few unsettled um this is the man i now need to work on warren zier emery he has been absolutely phenomenal for me in all fairness, is worth a fair bit of dough. Um, been brilliant for me. Um, as you can tell down the back end we got here, we've got some real ballers. Uh, the thing with Hendrick here is um, he wanted to leave the club. He now wants to stay, uh, which is brilliant. We've just offered him a new contract as well. Um, it's going to increase his wages considerably. Um, but the minimum fee release clause is going to go up higher, which is a big help for us. What we need to do, unfortunately, is we need to uh, increase the, the wage budget because uh, okay, so Philip Schultz, he hasn't really done enough for us. I can't accept this offer, it's too low. These two, not too bad. In regards, if we sold him for six and a half million pounds, we'd still be making money. He did play a lot for us last season, but everything was off the bench. So, it's not really worth it in that respect. I've got Liverpool up next. Um, let's see where we go from here. Nobody interested in these two guys, which is a shame. We're going to transfer list you, and we're going to put your transfer value. I'm going to say 17, uh, yeah, 17 million pounds, just for you for the start. We have confirmed Escobar. I don't mind keeping him around, but I don't think he's going to be figuring too much. So this is what I need to change. As a matter of fact, I might not be able to change it. All right, okay. Not much I can do. The board won't let me change anything as of yet. But we will be going over our wage budget. Oh, hello there. Uh, I will take wherever I can to get players off the books. Right. 
we are above Liverpool in the table, but I'm in no way, shape or form even thinking we can get a result here. They are much the better side. I get anything from me, it'll be a miracle. Miracles can happen. Um, that's pretty massive. You know, we went one nil up early with Ben Doak. Perez has then gone sent off, and then we've sort of taken advantage. But that is a result that I really didn't think that was going to happen. Really, really pleased result that. Wow, we're into the top 10. That's incredible. Five matches again without losing. It's fantastic. I'm actually in quite a bit of shock, to be honest, of how well things are going. <laughs> FA Cup third round had a really good run in this last year. Made the semi final somehow. And we ended up losing to eventual winners, as you can see down the bottom there Nottingham Forest. Morgan Rogers, has he still got that minimum fee? He has, he's got a lot of clubs interested in him. I need to try and wheel on these off. Because he's been a really good player for us. You don't really want this in your contract, if we're going to be honest. Gonna get that either. It's a lot of money you're asking for. Wow. Schultz is going to Wolfsburg. That money there will be enough to keep us going. Now, this is a very big one here. So, there is no relegation release clause here. But there is a minimum fee, and we've upped it from 91 to 109. He is on big wages now. Asia comes, not going to be happy. He's not getting football. We will need to see the back of him. Obviously, there are offers on the table for him. Hopefully, we can get some cash in for him. Uh, another one of these games, if I get anything from it, I'm happy, but I'm certainly not expecting anything. Arsenal are a good side, the second in the division, a draw would be marvellous. Unfortunately, we have lost, but um, I'm okay with that. We are near enough halfway through the season and we are way ahead of where we possibly even should be <clears throat> to be completely real so let's have a look here 
There we go. That keeps us secure with a couple of these uh, has to be the right price. That usually come is going to young boys. Okay. What was the actual bid? Sixteen million plus. It's a shame to see one of the guys I started with go, but if he wants football, he's not been good enough. And it goes with the same of these. A lot of these, you get given your opportunities, you've got to take it. And if you don't, you're going to see yourself on the bench. Lack of um, players incoming. Hendrick's always going to be wanted. Let's be completely honest. And as far as I'm concerned, he's not going anywhere, especially now, even if we get relegated. To get that out of his contract is massive. I don't think I need to tinker about with his contract anymore. Let's go back in to try and give Rogers a contract. He's probably not going to be interested right now. Yeah. I think I've got to pay the money to keep these players about. Which is the natural progression of football. It's just how it works. Okay, facing a strong Leicester side here. Yeah, again, any kind of point will be lovely. It's another loss. Two in a row. Actually, a chance to make it two all when Hendrick missed the penalty. I feel as though we definitely had a lot of the game as well. It's a shame, but there are a lot of these games like they're, they're tough, tough, tough games. Oh, everyone wants more than Rogers. <laughs> now, we're very, very close to seeing who's going to be out of contract in the summer, which is always a nice one to see. This, this guy looks really good. Matthias Flanker. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. The last thing I need to think of thinking about is making signings <clears throat> at the moment. this guy that I need to work with. Blimey, no game around Boxing Day. In the Premier League, that is very rare. Do you know what? I'm even declining to answer questions about it now because it's 
carried on and on and on. <laughs> so, halfway through the season, as you can see, 26 points. Just a further 14 or 15 points will see us well clear and well pleased with the way that things are going. we just got to keep it going. We start off with a game where I feel as though we might be able to get something from it. Just in trees, we've got 18 million on board. We haven't got a lot in the wage budget. I think when players leave, that will change. I might have to um, change that budget so we've probably got like 50k in wages. So I can uh, have a little. That did work. It's not going to allow me to do too much, which is a bit of a shame. We are spending a lot of money though at the moment. But that comes with the part of it and getting the players in. So this season we're the ones that are nicking all the points in the last few minutes, so that's fine. I'm okay with a draw there. Forest are not a bad side and it's one point closer. To where we need to be. The day has arrived for us to have a look at players. So we've got three players going out there. Let's see what we got here. Is there anyone that tickles our fancy? This is one player I am jumping on now. If his contract is officially finishing then. Which it is. He is fantastic. Oh my lord, look at this. Oh, we're not going to be able to sign him. Wages is going to be an issue. I forgot about that. It's English, isn't it? Kingsley Coleman. <laughs> Lozano. Still very, very tough to get players. Can't sign him. Ooh, Lucas Torreya. Leroy Sonne, 
moment he's already got a transfer agreed. A mandatory for Empoli. De Bruyne. Lewandowski, could you imagine? <laughs> Shame about that Parisi. He'd have been really nice. Some clubs interested. No, it's not interested. I'm going to try this fella again. No, it's still not interested in us. Felipe Anderson, but he's more on just having a look at the forward ability. This guy looks all right, you know. Work permit doesn't look good. Let's see what happens. If I don't get him, I don't get him. It's no biggie to me. Can't offer him a contract, but I can these boys. Got a lot of players, uh, their wages are going up. Lucas Torreira could be the, uh, a little piece in the puzzle in the middle of a park I might need for Sierra, Emery and Wharton. Just about getting that squad depth. Like I've, I've brought in a lot of players who have a lot of potential. Not really many players that have like the ability now. So that is the aim. Strengthen. We we made a few quid off some players that are not playing. Now is the opportunity to uh, strengthen overall. It's the thirty first of December bug where it takes forever. It took a little bit quicker than what I thought. Bellingham is still at Dortmund, is he? We are the favourites against Villa as well. The transfer window is open. What's it going to say here? Put in 25.5 million. Schultz to Wolfsburg. Gordon has one young player of the month. A good sign in here, yes. He's done really well for us so far. Now, this is one we got to win, in my view. I feel as though this is a must. It's a must win game. Two two, we scored late again. It's, it's another point gained, in to be realistic. But 
Fair to say, with a late position, we should be winning that. Got another four million quid for El Granaldo. I wonder how he's got on. Yeah, not very good. I feel as though making that amount of profit on him for three star potential has been a bit of a result, to be honest. Right. I need to try and tie up a contract. Right, we're getting rid of this and we're getting rid of that. I'll give you 55, 66. I'll give you 60. He ain't budging, is he? Oh, I didn't want to do it, but I've got to try and keep my players. It keeps him around as well, even if one day we do end up getting relegated as well, so. Escobar thinking about his contract. Got a long way to go. Has he played much this season? He has all off the bench. Be nice to get Lucas Torreira in. The only problem is it will be uh, <clears throat> a lot of wages there, over a hundred k for a player. I didn't even know that was my original budget. I don't think when we first started. That is ridiculous. Wow, we need this guy. Wow, we. One point one million for him. Oh, here we go. Offers for Rogers. If I can get this kid in, the only problem is he's awkward in the role that I like him. Could be more of a case of it could be worth a bit of fair bit of profit in a transfer, although he can play centre half. Well, if they have declined, I will not take that on. Wow. Lucas Torreira can't even get a work permit. That's pretty mental. Well, citizenship. That's on me for taking over a Welsh club. Will that guy choose us over Tottenham? Harry Nunes. I'm not answering questions now. On Rogers again. So a little look more on him. Oh, does this mean that Tottenham out had their big projected? So it's Costa Rican 
and he is playing in Costa Rica. Clinton Stanley I appear to be running out of players <laughs> and Zaha's on his way out in the, in the week as well Six one victory. Hendrick with a hatty. Convincing. Well, we've uh, we've gone and got the kid. He looks really good as well. I want to train him to play in that holding mid role. Whether I can do that or not, I don't know yet. Kind of says he can. Look at that. Brought him for 1.2, 1.1 million. He's now worth 55 mil. And he's got that minimum fee release clause in there as well. I can't remember what my tactics are. Deep line playmakers. Might end up going horribly wrong, by the way. Pleased to have got him in because he looks very, very good. Morgan Rogers has resigned with us. That is a good thing. Burnley in the FA Cup. Two guys leaving the club in a minute. Now, I didn't notice this, but Endrick is on international duty. I would much rather that that didn't happen. Well, it sounds like they're quite happy to get rid of Zaha, and next thing you know, our wage budget is up. I'll appeal it, but I can't see it. I just can't seem to get particular players. The area I seem to be able to get players in is um, some really random countries, like that Costa Rican deal there.
What's this? More more money in or new club record fee? Olympic Games South American qualifying. Palace up next. It was a de a decent option, but the thing is, like, he wants to play. He played some football, a lot of football for us. I mean, reports wise, he's three stars. I need, I need more than that. We're looking a bit dry on the old subs bench now. Need a result here as well. Can't let a team in 18th try and catch up on us. That's okay. The draw is fine. It's 29 points from 22 games. More injuries. Let's just have a look here. So basically, where I've said oh, I've got a massive squad, I need to trim the squad down. Got a lot of players on loan. Hendrick's obviously not available. When's he back? Does it say? Okay, back in a week. I wonder if there's anyone else who... Cheap potential wise. Got loads of potential. There are a lot of five-star potential players here, <laughs> my I add. I can pick up someone like that for a million and a half. It's just about finding these cheap players who you can work out and probably, if, if at worst, flog on down, down the line just due to their potential. There's another one, 2.6 mil. So if I can get him for 2.6 mil, then I will. Just about finding these cheap potential kids. Ooh, look at this guy. Loan from Marseille. A future fee clause optional. I'm going to keep an eye on that guy. If I can really find him. Probably not.
And if my controller behaves itself. Elicio Perez, right, controller behave. Take a look at this. Absolute bargains to be had there. Okay. Okay. This guy is interested. Always well worth looking at cheap prices to try and get some of these players in. Sometimes it might not work out, but if you make a profit on them, even better. There we go. One player is uh, not going to make it. Is Pedro Brazil. And we couldn't even get Torreira in either, so... It was shown. But it's now definitely about trying to get more points on the board, staying up, and keep looking to build. There's someone I'm going to have a little look at in a minute. Right, if you're going to take him, he's got to be a regular starter. John Leslie is joining us from West Ham United. Half a million quid. Fine by me. Manchester United at home. Just intrigued. So we've got thirty k in the budget. Got twenty million quid sitting now, which is fine. Going with Odrago up top. Seeing that Nunez is starting at centre half for us because Amy's out. But Gordon, by the way, three and a half stars. Been a good signing he has. Wow, we we have beaten Manchester United for free. Lucky, really, in some respects, because we were four one up. But that is a uh, pretty massive. Unbelievable job I think I'm doing. Oh, wait. Am I, am I missing something? I thought Hendrick was coming back. <laughs> no, he's not back till the end of the month.
And you get yourself home, mate. All right, so we have a game against Leicester on my birthday. So do you think in the press conference they're going to say, come on, you can do this, it's on your birthday. I'd be very shocked if we got anything against Leicester. To be completely honest, we are down to the bare bones on substitute sets for certain. We lost one nil yet. Yeah. I have a birthday to forget. Oh man, look at this. I need uh I need some players. <laughs> His contract still running now, it is. God, you ain't getting out of me. All about being cost effective. This guy looks really good, his physicals look fantastic. Ah, I need to check that out really before I go any further than that. Did look at this fella, I weren't so sure. No. I don't think there's many players. I did look at this guy beforehand. Right. Give you 8.75 million for it. Nah, that's my last. I'm going to give him nine and a half, and that is as far as I am going with it. This guy looks rapid. See what happens to them. Shit. 
Jesus. Is I'll just skint the club out now, <laughs> which is a big possibility. Okay, this is um, quite a big game in the context of things purely because it's very, very close in the league between us. Our players are on the brink of disaster, I think, with uh, their fitness. Nil nil. Yeah, again, it's another point gained. We're on 33 points, you know. 14 out of Villa. We are doing just fine. Hendrick's going to be back from international duty We're on transfer deadline day. We'll see what happens with them two bits of business we were looking at. Looking at taking on Savio. Isn't exactly true. No outgoing, yeah, you're probably about right. Yeah, I'm going to try and get him. I don't think he's got that extra year in his contract anymore. He has played a game as well. Decline as always. First off, you're going to have to pay some of his wages, and secondly, he has to be a regular star. Leslie's going out to get some experience, which is completely fine with me. Cortez is coming into the squad. And Hugo Victor is coming into the squad. Two players who can give me a little bit now, but more for the future. That is my only problem there. Okay. No. <laughs> I've just signed him. I feel like I've got a reasonably good balance of the squad. I feel like it just might be central midfield now. Wages were still spending more than Middlesbrough, though. We're not the, uh, the cheapskates anymore.
That's him with Drago. Young player of the month. So the thing that I'm probably most impressed with out of everything is uh, Mr. Webb Hendrick. Literally was coincided at the start of the previous episode that we were losing him um, to half a billion for 91 million. Even other teams have inquired, but this year Emery's out for a couple of weeks with a virus, which is not handy. I feel as though that's one position I definitely need to get more more players involved. We are the favourite. Dan Happ as well. I don't think this is going to be an easy game. And who's going to replace the air Emery? Asp Jensen. It'd be nice to go through. But it's not on my list of priorities. One one. Still think they're the worst results you can have in um these cup games where there's replays. There's probably nothing worse if I'm honest. Here, Emery's now happy. Who do we draw? Doncaster Rovers. Well, Bolton Wanderers will be a nice touch. Not normally that lucky, though, in all fairness. Watford. Okay, Chelsea up next. Kind of feeling it may be a a loss before we've even started, but we'll see. <laughs> well, that's a snatch and grab if ever I've ever seen it. 3-0, they've dominated the game, had more chances, more shots. 36 points from 26 games. I can probably 99.9% .9 say that we're going to be safe, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, really, really pleased with that. That is going to do for today's episode. It's, um, it's pretty crazy, to be honest. Um, we've got some points in the bag. We're doing okay in the FA Cup. We've got Little bit of money issues, nothing mental. We have a look at our finances. As a club, we're doing okay. Um, a little bit overspent, but hey, that's pretty normal in football these days, isn't it? So, um, yeah, really, really pleased. Uh, we'll finish off the season next episode. Um, so please give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already. You don't want to be missing this. It's been a really, really good fun, and it's been really enjoyable. So. Um, take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.